But I've been ripping a lot of lumber. And really cleaning up this whole area. I don't know if you remember from the first video, but this is piled full of cutoffs. So I've ripped all these pieces and filled up my scrap burning Kinlinwood area. So what happened was last night, this is what I was thinking. The strips would all be the same width, about an inch and a sixteenth. And I would either screw or glue or both, probably both, I would screw and glue them together or just screw them together. And then I'd run them through the planer and make this edge all smooth and do the same thing for the other side. So I'd probably lose a good sixteenth of an inch. And they would be about an inch thick. So that could work. But then after sleeping on it, I was thinking, that's just so flat. Why am I doing that? I need it more three-dimensional. So I decided to cut strips at three different sizes, and now I've decided I think I'm going to cut one other size. So I'll have four thicknesses, or widths. And then I'm going to just alternate them. Actually, one wonders, I mean, should I even... Yeah, probably, I don't know. Huh, that's a thought. Do I run one row all the same width? Or do I even stagger them? Hmm, I've never done that before. Okay, so I have another thing to think about. But either way, I'm going to come back out after I take a break, and I'm going to cut another width of um, strips. Because right now, these are my three right here. This one, this one, and this one. So I think I need one in between here. So I'll do that. Then, doing this, I need to plane these off both edges. Before I screw them together. So I'm not going to be gluing. I'm just going to pure screw. And this is to make the legs. So this will be standing upright. And it'll be about 30 inches long each of them. So this will be interesting. At the same time I was ripping all these strips, I was taking wide boards and cutting them into stuff like this so I can do my stacked leg design. I'd like to do a couple little end tables for our air chair hangout. So that's kind of a side thing. Boards that didn't, that would work good for this, I'd put into this and others I'd put into strips. Okay, I need to take a break, but that's where we're at. I'm going to cut one more set of strips. And then we're going to get the planer out. And we're going to start planing all of this. Both edges. Not a lot. All we have to do is just take the, um, the saw blade marks off. So it's just a slight, you know, like a 30 seconds of an inch on each side. So it should go pretty fast because I can do two or three at a time. And then we'll be ready to start putting them together. But it's a lot of prep work, but look at this. It's I don't know if you can tell, but it's looking cleaner already. Oh, and by the way, the table saw has been working great. I think if we look underneath here. Yeah, look at that. It hasn't moved. That silicone is holding it. Oh, I hope it keeps holding it. Okay, 